Hey, what's up guys and girls? Brandon here. Another video log. I don't know if you guys are enjoying these or not. I've got uh, I've got a few people watching them, so I guess they're doing okay. If I get one person to listen to my mumbling and <laughs> rambling and ranting, I guess that's all right. Uh, anyways, uh, we're running here uh, through Korea. I had to work some extra hours this morning. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, this is the main one of the main palaces up here in front of us. Uh, uh, Gangbuk Palace or Guang, with Gwanghamun. It's like a uh, there's a palace right there, and then in the background you have a mountain. U.S. Embassy is actually on the right. That's why you got a bunch of these TV buses out here, and uh, uh, the riot buses over here on your right too. It's kind of kind of cool little mention, anyways. But uh, um, they're protecting the U.S. Embassy and some of the, the local protesting that's going on with the, with the president stepping down and all that nonsense. But um, I'm here today to talk about some uh, little thing called support, <laughs> and uh, so maybe maybe touch on the sponsorship touch on some of the industry and stuff like that um, a lot of people think that whenever somebody mentions they get sponsored they're like hundred percent full ride they don't got to do anything or whatnot um, when that's really not the case at all um, the people who do decide to help me out sometimes I don't even call it a sponsorship you know um, I, I do a lot okay um, this is kind of spurned I just start. I just uh, talked to King's Disaster Garage. Okay, if you haven't checked him out, uh, Matt King's Disaster Garage down in Florida. He does some amazing work. I'm gonna put a link uh, to his Instagram and a link to his YouTube channel. Um, go check his stuff out, man. His painting, his modification, just the attention to detail, and ingenuity, innovation that he's putting into the works and the Jeeps and stuff like that. Uh, I think he's got a future in it, man. I, I really do. So. Uh, you guys go check him out and uh, give him some love. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and let, let him know uh, you like what he's doing. Um, and, uh, you know, go that route. And that kind of brings me into the industry and how I go to, about building relationships with people. And, and it's, it's this normal relationship. It's not like I, I'm like, oh, you know, I hunted out Terraflex, you know. It just kind of happened, you know. It was kind of one of those things where I was looking for a kit. I wanted a long arm kit and... You know, I ended up talking to one of the guys, and he just happened to be the, you know, international marketing uh, sales representative, um, Joe over there, and uh, he wanted to come to Korea, so I brought him to Korea, and I took him wheeling on the North Korean border, and we broke down near a minefield, you know, so it's kind of one of those things where, hey, you know, the relationship happens, but, you know, it's not like you just call these people on the phone and ask for free stuff, you know, it's not like they just send you the free stuff. There's a ton of people out there that really put a lot of work, really hard work, into advertising and representing the companies and really pushing their products and just just really loving what they do. Um, because when you start treating it like a business, it kind of turns into work. It turns into a business. And Jeepers, you know, may, uh, just I mean, not all Jeepers, not Jeepers in, in general, it's car enthusiasts, you know, really love what they do. So, and that comes out in their passion and. And I'm like, I got a type A personality anyways. And I'm very passionate about Jeep and customization, modification, RC cars, and whatever I'm kind of into, I'm really into. And Jeeping is just it's just my thing. I like anything that's Lego, that's buildable, model, you know, modifiable, and um, the Jeeps kind of just fit my personality. So it kind of comes out with what I do. I started building, uh, then I started meeting people, you know, uh, Mitch over at Bartac, um, amazing guy, just an amazing person, not not just uh, an amazing product, because you see some of my videos, I, uh, Trek Armor, which is now Bartek, okay, Bartek and Trek Armor are one and the same, but they don't use the Trek Armor name anymore, it's Bartek, okay, so uh, Mitch, you know, just an awesome guy, I mean, I think I bought like a couple sets of seat covers, and I sold a couple sets of seat covers for him or something, you know, over here in Korea, just showing mine off, and whatnot and then me and him start talking and eventually he was like hey Brandon you know test this out you know I mean but it wasn't like right off the bat and I'm not asking him for free stuff by any means uh, he's just a nice guy and he sees what you do in the industry he sees where he can use you and that you're passionate about it and that you really enjoy the product and you really enjoy what he does and what you do and that kind of it, it really kind of shows and shines when people are really like that so you know don't get rubbed the wrong way a lot of times because a lot of these builders and people that are sponsored or they, you know, are receiving help from the industry. I see some haters on those individuals. I get haters all the time for it, uh, and, and and that shouldn't be the case. You know, it's it's really we really work hard to kind of 
get what we got and to help the industry succeed. It's not just for our own whatever. It's to kind of say, hey guys, this is what's out there. This is what you can do with your with your imagination, with innovation, and with the people out there who are doing the research and development, which really push the industry. This is Dating Street, by the way. It's like a it's like a um, artsy street here. They have a lot of little museum places and coffee places and stuff like that. It's kind of cute little road. Aaron Cree on a side note. <laughs> I need like a, a little ping on the side. Side note, <laughs> interesting fact. <laughs> you know, something like that. It'd be kind of funny. But going back to what I was saying, you know, uh, well, I went to SEMA last year, right? And I got there like 1 or 2 a.m. or something. I called Mitch up. I'm like, Mitch, you know, I'm here. I don't, I don't have anywhere to stay at the time or something like that. Our, our hotel rooms weren't ready for the next day. And he's like, dude, come on, man. Crash him. You crash him up my room. You know, so. It's just nice people. John over at S-Pod. John and Cindy and Josh. You know, they're a family. They run S-Pod. Excellent, excellent customer service. John's like answering me at midnight about some issue I was having, you know? Uh, stuff like that. So, you know, when when we spend the money and when we talk about these the people, especially me, I believe in them. It's not this that I've gotten free something from TerraFlex and... Uh, or, or they helped me and assisted me with this and you know that's not me um, and that's not most people who, who have the items either they really believe in what they're doing they believe in the people who sell it they believe in where it's going to go in the industry they believe in the industry itself on, on, on way that you're going to push innovation again research and development and just uh, kind of launching our hobby even further into the future than it already is because if you look at the marketplace for jeeps and stuff like that it's absolutely monstrous um and with china copying everything under the sun um no offense to china i get what they why they do it uh but with them doing that um, it, it really bleeds the market dry and it pushes more strain on these individual companies like uh, s-pod and like uh teraflex and um, you know, small guys, uh, uh, Brian over at uh, Carolina Metal Masters, um, Fab Fours with their new, new uh, stuff. I've already seen copies of the Bumper Grumper coming out of China, uh, but you know, Fab Fours um, uh, work is man, that stuff is clean. If you haven't seen any of it, it that, their product product is on point, and they really, really, really care about their R and D, their innovation, and their. Uh, their footprint on the marketplace. Um, uh, you can hear it when they talk about it. I mean, they're really into it, which I, I love to talk to them about it because they, they listen to you. They, you know, they they want to know what you think. You know, they want to push it as hard as they can and stuff. So, you know, it's kind of keep that in mind when you uh, go out wanting to purchase your product, wondering why some products are more expensive than the others, um, and why some of these people are pushing it. It's just not for their own agenda. It's because we believe in it. I believe in them. Everybody you see in my Jeep, I have some kind of personal relationship with them. I think they made like two products I don't. Toyo tires, uh, which I just haven't met anybody from there, which I'm sure I will sooner or later. And um, uh, but I, I don't have another one. Uh, I can't. I really can't tell you. Maybe Rugged Ridge. Um, I really don't uh, know anybody over there. But you know, I still believe in their product because they, they do put a lot of stuff out. Some good, some bad, some from China, some not. But uh, I believe in their their mission, um, and uh, I believe in their uh, reputation's good. So, anyways, uh, this is my Brandon. This is my thoughts, and uh, take them or leave them. You know, that's just how I feel. Um, do me a favor, you guys, uh, hit that subscribe down there. If you like this stuff, leave me a comment. Let me know that you're listening to these things, so I keep doing them. I guess I think this is uh, video log five or four. Or, I lose track, but you get the point. Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think. Hey, uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, it's, uh, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Just want to say uh, Merry Christmas. I'm I'm a veteran. I'm a America. So I say Merry Christmas. I'm deplorable. <laughs> you know, yada, yada, yada. Just want to uh, uh, say uh, Merry Christmas, you guys. I hope all your families are doing okay, and, and God bless. See you guys later. This is Brandon. Addictacon 2.0, Jeepers Korea, the Jeep Addict, uh, signing off. Peace out. See you guys.